One of the Red Sox top prospects is out of the gate white hot, and that could be big news for Boston. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Sea Radio. My name is Corbin, and there were a lot of eyes on top, well, depending on where you look, top Red Sox prospect Marcella Meyer coming into 2024. That was mainly due to the fact that 2023 was a very down year for him. He struggled in double A, mainly due to that injury, and the question was, could Marcella Meyer use 2024 to get his progression to Major League Baseball back on track? Well, I don't think he could have asked for a better start to the 2024 season than what we're seeing right now. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to break down Marcelo Meyer's white hot start. We're going to talk about what he's been able to do early on in this season, why this is good news for the Boston Red Sox, and what this could mean about Marcelo Meyer's 2024 campaign. But before we get into that, do me a favor. Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. I'll also, make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well. Helps these videos out a ton, and it would mean a lot to me. Don't forget, we are going to be live tonight, right around 7 p.m. Eastern time on this channel. We're not only going to be watching the Red Sox hopefully turn this ship around a little bit, but we're also going to be talking about all the latest Red Sox news, rumors, reports, all that good stuff as well. So if you want to come talk Sox live, again, that is going to be tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time on this channel. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one. Let's get into it. I know I mentioned it pretty quickly in the intro there, but for those of you who don't pay a ton of attention to the Red Sox farm system, Marcelo Meyer really struggled last year in double A. In his first stint there, he had just a 189 average, a 254 on base percentage, and a 355 slug, which was good for an OPS just over 600 and a 63 WRC plus, about 37% below league average production. We later found out that the reasoning for this was mainly due to the fact that in 2023, Marcelo Marcelo Meyer was really trying to play through a shoulder injury. He had gotten injured very quickly into his time in double A and wanted to play through the pain. And what that did was took a really big toll on his plate approach and was a really big reason as to why we saw him struggle so much at the plate. The question is, like I said in the intro, what is this going to look like in 2024? One, is he fully healthy? And two, can he compete against double A pitching? Well, we do know he's fully healthy, at least for now. And the other part of that, so far, it's all been really positive because the Portland Sea Dogs have played eight games so far this season, just over a week into their 2024 campaign, and Marcelo Meyer is on absolute fire. He's hitting 344 with a 371 on base percentage and a 500 even slug, good for an OPS of 871, over 200 points better than what he was hitting last year in AA, and a 137 WRC plus, about 37% more productive than the average hitter at the AA level. In his first week, Week, he's gone from 37% below league average production to 37% above league average production. I would say that's a pretty good start to the year. In that time span, he also is on an eight game hitting streak. He has a hit in every single game he's appeared in so far. That includes a home run, two doubles, eight singles, and five RBIs. He's also being really productive on the base pass. He's scored seven runs so far in his first week, and he's also stolen two bases, which I think is really interesting. Marcelo Meyer never really been known for his ability to swipe a bag. Last season, he stole four bags at the double A level and five bags in this at the high A level which gives you nine total he's already almost a third of the way through that total in 2024 could we see him start to be more of a menace on the base pass that'd be a pretty interesting development here what I really find interesting about Marcelo Myers approach to the 2024 season is that he's not walking as much as we've seen in the past he's currently walking at about 5.7 percent rate which is half of what he was doing in high a and two percent less than what he was doing in his first in double a last year with his injury my guess as to why is because because he's getting pitches to hit and not missing them. It's simple, right? He's getting pitches in the zone. He's doing damage with his bat instead of his eye. That, and this is a pretty small sample size. Eight games is a really tough amount of games to create a full picture of what a prospect looks like or what he's going to look like over the course of 2024. So that walk percentage could all always increase. It could always decrease. It's not exactly a fully painted picture yet. He's also going the opposite way a bit more than he has in the last couple of years. About a third of his hits so far this season have been to the opposite field, which is much more than the last couple of years where he was right around a quarter 
quarter of the time. Being able to use all sides of the field of the plate is extremely important and to see him utilizing that early in 2024 is a really great sign. And I know, Corbin, this is a really small sample size. Why are we making a video about a singular week in double A baseball? Well, the first part of that is, do you really want to talk about this team right now? I mean, seriously, do you? And the other part of this is a hot start is really important to a very, very important season for Marcelo Meyer in 2024. And it could have a lot of impact on what happens for Marcelo Meyer's development over the course of this season. Now, originally at the beginning of the year, before the minor league season kicked off, before the major league season kicked off, we did a little prediction video here where I talked about how I don't think that we will see Marcelo Meyer in a Red Sox uniform at any point during 2024. And there were two reasons for this. The first was the Red Sox had the luxury of being patient with Marcelo Meyer. They had Trevor Story at shortstop, who we knew at the bare minimum was going to be great defensively. And then at second base, you had a combination of Emmanuel Valdez and Von Grissom, who was working his way back through injury. It wasn't exactly a fully clear path for Marcelo Meyer to Major League Baseball, which meant that the Red Sox had the luxury of being patient with his development. The other thing was that Marcelo Meyer hasn't been healthy. We mentioned it a couple of times this video, but in 2022, he sustained an injury that kept him out long term. And in 2023, obviously, he had that injury as well. I think it's an important factor that the Red Sox ensure that he can be healthy for an entire season season before really pushing him up through minor league baseball. However, I think my stance has changed on that a little bit. I still don't think it's a super big likelihood that we see Marcelo Meyer at the major league level at any point this year, despite the Red Sox having just a gargantuan hole in their middle infield right now, but I also don't think it's impossible anymore either. If Marcelo Meyer continues this extremely hot start to the year, I don't think he'll be in double A very long. Over the past year or so, the Red Sox have been really aggressive with their promotion. Some of them have worked out really well. Say Don Raffaello was pushed through very quickly in the minor leagues, even though he stalled a little bit at AAA. You had Roman Anthony get promoted to high A when everyone was like, wait, what are we doing right now? And he ended up lighting the world on absolute fire. Kyle Teal got promoted to AA extremely quickly. You had other guys like Blaze Jordan along in there too. And Red Sox were really aggressive with their promotions last year. A lot of them worked out. Some of them obviously didn't work out super well. One example that always comes to mind there is Shane Drohan, who got a really quick promotion to AAA. He didn't end up working well, and he ended up getting drafted in the Rule 5 draft. He's currently sitting on the Chicago White Sox 60-day IL. But overall, I think being aggressive with your prospects, especially if they're showing the talent that these top three guys are showing, makes a lot of sense. Getting them up to Major League Baseball as soon as they are ready, which could be a really quick amount of time or a really long amount of time, feels like the right answer to this. And I don't think that's going to change too much in the Craig Breslow era. There's a big reason why, for the first time in Red Sox history, they decided to bring their top prospects to Winter Weekend. One, they wanted to draw people in. It worked somewhat. But two, because they also think that there is a possibility that these guys have an impact on the Boston Red Sox in 2024. Specifically, as that relates to Marcelo Meyer, again, I think the Red Sox are going to continue to be aggressive, but I think it's all going to rely, again, back on that health that we've talked about a ton of times in this video already. We know Marcelo Meyer can hit. We know he can handle pitching. He's done it throughout the entirety of his minor league career, excluding that one half season in double A where he just simply was not healthy and really unable to do anything productive at the plate. Every other level he's been in, he's continued to hit. I have full faith in Marcelo Meyer to continue to hit like this in double A and eventually when he gets to triple A as well. I think the only thing really holds Holding the Red Sox back here is ensuring that he can be fully healthy. If he can do that and maintain his health over the course of the 2024 season, again, I think he's pretty quickly moved up to AAA. And then once he gets to that point, as long as he's hitting and the Red Sox keep performing the way they're performing right now, once we get to late August or early September, it's going to be hard for the Red Sox to sit there and say, well, why not? Why not give him a taste of what big league baseball is like, especially if the Red Sox are just fully out of contention. This team 
finds ways to lose games right now. And if they continue to do that with the injuries that continue to pile on, there's not really going to be a reason for the Red Sox to hold Marcelo Meyer in AAA. I think it makes a lot of sense. And again, I don't think this is a guarantee by any point. It's one week of the 2024 season. It's a really, really hot week. He's on absolute fire right now. He's on a different planet right now, but that could all change in the next two weeks as well. It's a long double A season. It's a long major league season. So there's a lot of variables involved here, but this is an absolutely fantastic start for Marcelo Meyer, and I do think this is important for what the Red Sox are looking at over the next couple of months, because again, I think it goes from, well, it's probably not likely that he's going to be anywhere near a major league team in 2024 to, yeah, I think there might be a chance that we see him at some point this season, especially if the Red Sox keep playing the way they're playing. Either way, absolutely great news that Marcelo Meyer is back to hitting the way he hit. There were a lot of question marks of his future status coming into the 2024 season after what happened in 2023. So to start silencing that right out of the gate, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic news. And again, I do think this changes things just a little bit. I think it's helped by the fact that the Red Sox simply can't remain healthy or can't win a baseball game at home. But that's just my opinion. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of this hot start? What do you think of what Marcelo Meyer has been able to do on the baseball field so far? Are you cautiously optimistic? Are you fully optimistic? Are you sitting there saying this matters absolutely none because it's just a small sample size? And what do you think this does for the chances of seeing Marcelo Meyer? in 2024. Let me know all your thoughts on Marcelo Meyer's hot start in the comment section down below. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, do me a favor. Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Also, make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well. It just helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me. Don't forget, we're going to be live tonight going over what is starting to be a disaster season for the Boston Red Sox live and in person since 7 p.m. Eastern time on this channel. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one, and I will see you in the red seats.